This is my studio. This is uh, where I spend uh, most of my time. It uh, is currently divided in half because we're in winter time and uh, it's worth only heating half of it. Uh, but this is the entry bit with a skylight and where I tend to sort of hang pictures for people to see if people are coming to visit to see particular pictures. But if we go behind the curtain, this is my studio proper. Uh, you've come at a very busy time. Uh, I have a major exhibition opening in about five weeks and uh, I'm desperately producing the work for that. It's, it's a great space in here. How long have you been here? I've been here 15 years, which whenever people ask me that and I say that, I sound like a prisoner. Because <laughs> it is, you know, it's my cell. And I, I, I laughed slightly when you know, I said, uh, this is where I spend most of my time, because it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> and what brought you to Hackney Wick? What interests me is the fact that it's an area that is, is a little bit special. It's an area which has a history of light manufacturing. And to an extent, that's carrying on. That's what artists do. They manufacture things. They make things. And we're in this little pocket of, uh, of light industry, which, for this situation relatively close to central London, is unusual. Um, it's a little pocket that through the creation of the roads and the canals and things has been allowed and, and history to make to continue to be a light industrial area and there's there's now developing a lot of tension between between that historical role as a light industrial or even heavy industrial area with the concrete works uh, and its newfound role as a residential area um, personally I'd much rather work in an industrial area than a residential area. It's it's where I go to work, and I, you know, there are sub timber suppliers, builders, merchants, and all the stuff of uh, of an industrial sort of area, and that, next to the park and the Olympic Park, is great. Okay, and for the fifteen years that you've been here, what are the good parts and what mm. are the bad? The good parts are um, are being part of a community of artists. Uh, it's sort of coincidence, but on this floor of this building, there are about 30 artists. And uh, amongst us, there's a, there's a community of people who work in a fairly similar way, or at least a way that we overlap with each other, which is quite unusual because contemporary art is a very diverse activity. And um, as it happens, there's a, there's, a, there's a good collection of painters on this floor who I actually also exhibit with. It's, it's such a vicarious, tough business being an artist that carrying a, your home rent and a studio rent is pretty tough. Uh, and an awful lot of people, unfortunately, can't come into their studios because they're busy earning the money to pay for the studios, ironically. So, you know, that's not a very good situation. But uh, I've been here 15 years, and when I was here, first of all, there was still the peanut factory outside. And I used to sit here painting to the sound of forklift trucks carrying great pallets of peanuts around outside. They used to sort of make a loud rattling noise as these peanuts would arrive from wherever they'd come from and uh, be unloaded. And then once or twice a week, they'd be roasting them. And you could actually smell, you know, the roasting peanuts, like sticking your head inside a big bag of peanuts. It absolutely stank of them. <laughs> Most of my work deals with environmental issues and working to reveal the way that the landscape has changed in the last 200 years. So everything you can see around us in the room is about uh, environmental issues. I responded to the, the massive change of the arrival of the Olympics by launching a project to paint uh, allotment sheds that were destroyed to make way for the Olympics. The Manor Garden uh, allotments, more or less where the velodrome is now, provided a subject as a landscape painter to say, oi, this is what was here. And it was actually quite interesting and quite a positive thing and a really amazing community. And it's sort of the opposite of, of a shiny new Olympic world. And I recorded that and put it out in the world. I painted about 50 or 60 of these sheds. And they were seen and they provoked quite a lot of discussion. They were on the radio, they were on the TV, and uh, the Museum of London bought a very large one. Uh, so as far as relationship to the change of the changing nature of the landscape, uh, I've totally engaged with that. <laughs>